Hello, dear listeners. Mic check one, two, one, two. I hope you guys can uh, hear me. So, uh, welcome to Old School Tronica show. Thanks for tuning in. Today we got a very nostalgic special, and it's actually about the dream trance uh, genre, also known as dream dance or dream house. And for me, my first experience with electronic music was because of Dream Trance and uh, especially because of DJ Dado, is an Italian a dream, dream Trance DJ and producer. And also a pirate copy of the Dream Dance Volume 1 compilation. It's from 1996. So this show is going to be uh, like a small tribute to those two albums. And the uh, Dream Dance compilation, you probably, I don't know if it rings a bell, maybe you heard about it, and, uh, but if not, if you would see the album artwork of those compilations, you would probably recognize it immediately, because it was quite prominent in the electronic and popular cult culture to the 90s, and it was often like a monochrome background with some raindrops or water splashes on it, and also two dolphins. And although I believe I also saw one album cover of this uh, compilation with a butterfly on it, but I'm not really sure. So, but uh, let's go to the first track. Of course, the first track is by DJ Dado. He's actually born as Flavio Dadato. Uh, he's uh, from Italy. And uh, he's mostly known for his remix of Mark Snow's theme for X-Files. And uh, he also covered Giorgio Moroder's The Legend of Babel and also some other uh, film soundtracks. And uh, I think the most uh, famous uh, tracks were the covers of the film uh, soundtracks. But uh, DJ Dado was for me one of the first DJs, electronic DJs uh, that I ever heard. So um, let's listen to DJ Dado with the X Files. Thank you. 
Taking over clouds of love Flying high up through the sky With you, I'm falling down back to the ground If you tell me that you're leaving At the sunrise in your heart That you see you've got the truth just listened to uh, Celebrate the Love by G. Vago. And I was just laughing with uh, my friends here in the studio because this song is called Celebrate the Love. But this song sounds very like melancholic and minor chords like and with this piano chords, like rain falling and then just celebrate the love. So I don't know. Uh, maybe you can celebrate it in a melancholic way, I guess. <laughs> so anyway, uh, back to dream trance. Uh, uh, so dream trance is uh, being considered as an early subgenre of trance, and it's peaked prominently uh, in the international dance scene between 1995 and 1998. Also, like colliding with the first time for trance to reach the mainstream. So therefore, you hear a lot of trance and dream trance influences also, like in the pop music and Euro pop and Euro dance and Euro house kind of music from the Y2K and 90s area. And the dream term has been known to, to largely influence house music in general. So therefore, the subgenre is also known as dream house and dream dance on some occasion. So it has this kind of dreamy, spacey, melancholic feeling. So, and we're moving uh, to the next track. It's uh, called No Fate by Zion. And it's also, uh, like most of the tracks we're going to play tonight are from the uh, dance Dream Dance Volume 1 compilation. And uh, especially the one that I had, which was a pirate copy. It wasn't even in CD, it was a cassette tape. Just a cassette tape, probably copied from other compilations. And uh, because the original Dream Dance Volume 1 compilation has actually like three parts in it or like three CDs, three sides. And of course, not all the tracks would fit on the cassette tape because it's like, I don't know, 60 minutes on each side. So they kind of skipped some of the songs and also switched some of the songs. So the official track list of the Dream Dance uh, Volume 1 compilation is not exactly the same as the one uh, that I had on the cassette tape. And I did my best to track the one, the pirate cassette tape copy that I had on Discogs, and I, find so and I found something. So the playlist that we have today in the Old School Tronica show is as close as I could get to the original cassette tape, which is, of course, I don't have anymore. So... Uh, <laughs> And uh, let's listen to this next track by Zion, which is called No Fate, which is also another one, a bit melancholic and uh, depressing song, but still dreamy.
recognized this song it's of course children and the original song is by uh, the famous Robert Miles except on the CD of Dream Dance volume 1 compilation it was listed as Ronald Snipes and it's a bit of a mystery for me because I tried to search for some more info because apparently Ronald Snipes appears more often Uh, as an uh, author listed on the CDs uh, who played children, but also other songs by Robert Niles. So either there was someone who was just covering uh, the songs by uh, Robert Miles, either it was his alter ego and, 
he eventually changed it to as Robert Miles. So it's a bit of a mystery. But somehow uh, on this album, it's listed as Ronald Snipes with children. So, yeah. And uh, speaking of creation of Dream Trends, I don't know if anyone knows about it. And speaking of Robert Miles, so the creation of Dream Trends was a response to social pressures in Italy during the early 90s. There was a growth of rave culture among uh, youngsters and the ensuing popularity of uh, nightclubs and raves. And it had created a weekly trend of deaths tr- due to car accidents as clubbers drove across the country overnight and uh, falling asleep at the wheel from all this dancing and uh, alcohol abuse and other stuff. So in mid-1996, deaths due to this phenomenon called... S- s- called s- okay, it's Spanish. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it in Spanish, so I just said it in English. It was called uh, Saturday Night Slaughter. So, yes, very uh, dreamy and melancholic indeed. So the deaths were being estimated around 2000 since the start of the 90s, which is pretty a uh, big number. So uh, this track Children by Robert Miles is one of the pioneering tracks of the genre and was created due to these accidents. So the move uh, by DJs such as Miles to play slower, calming music to conclude a night set as means to counteract the fast-paced repetitive techno and trance tracks that preceded was met with approval by authorities and parents of crush victims. So that's a little bit of history of uh, Dream Trance and especially the track Children. And uh, so there were like more covers in the 90s. Uh, There were like lots of electronic producers and artists that were just covering or remaking famous songs. Uh, So the next one is also... um, example of it it's actually a cover uh, by space blaster of the song magic fly and uh, magic fly the original was made uh, by uh, space a legendary 70s space disco and uh, extraterrestrial synth pop band and they were from france and the band was created around a famous compositor didier maruani and uh, roland romanelli and so in, 90, in 1977, the Magic Fly was like a disco hit. So someone decided to cover the song as well and make uh, like a dreamy trance version of it. And to be honest, I quite like it. So uh, let's listen to Space Blaster with Magic Fly. <laughs> Thank you. 
left to right, I struggle to fight dark forces in the clear moonlight without fear. Insomnia. I can't get no sleep. Insomnia, please release me and let me dream of making mad love to my girl on the heath Tearing off tights with my teeth, but there's no release, no peace I toss and turn without cease, like a curse, open my eyes and rise like yeast At least a couple of weeks since I last slept, kept taking sleepers But now I keep myself pet, deeper still The night I write by candlelight I find in sight Fundamental movement So when it's black This insomniac Take an original tack Keep the beast in my nature Under ceaseless attack I get no sleep I can't get no sleep I guess this song doesn't need an introduction. Well, maybe I do have to say that it's a, a monster remix uh, of Insomnia by Faithless. So yeah, that was also the first time when I ever heard of Faithless as a band. Um, and it's also like the first song that I ever known by them. And then later when I got older, when I listened to the other version uh, of the Insomnia, I was like, That's not how I remember it. I clearly remember that the song that I had like on my cassette tape was a bit different. And then I found out it was a monster remix. So yeah, Faithless, Insomnia, Monster Remix. Uh, the next song is uh, by Sarah, who is a singer, and it's called Loving You. And it also made the selection, uh, the compilation of Dream Dance Volume 1. But the interesting thing is, Sarah is actually just a singer, and she released the EP, which is called Loving You, and it's like trance and also house. Uh, but the original has actually uh, also a lot of vocals in it, so it's actually uh, an actual song with some verses and refrains, and it sounds much more poppy and maybe even a bit disco sometimes. Uh, but the version that was on this album is called Excess Club Mix, which is a con which contains actually almost no lyrics, maybe, except maybe for a couple of uh, vocals, but no words whatsoever or no lyrics, which is interesting because the original, which is called Excess Vocal uh, Mix, is quite different, but the version on the album is way more dreamy. And it really fits the uh, classic dream trance narrative because you clearly hear the dreamy, the dreamy sound, and ex especially this 
uh, acoustic guitar that's playing it. So let's listen to uh, Sarah with Loving You.
So as I mentioned, the key element of Dream Trance is uh, catchy and deep melodies and tracks and typically played on acoustic instruments like guitar, which you obviously heard in the track Loving You by Sarah. Of course, piano, but also sometimes violin and saxophones. And also, sometimes you could hear um, some ethnic influences or like some spiritual influences as well, like choir singing or kind of like this new age vibe, which was also, of course, a thing during the 90s, this whole new age um music and artist uh, maybe i'm going to do a special show about new age music sometimes as well but those influences uh, found uh, their way also to dream trance for example the next song is by dance to trance and it's called power of american natives and you hear this typical uh, typical flute playing uh, which is sampled in this track. So let's listen to uh, Dance to Trance, Power of American Natives. Thank you. 
another very famous track, Stella by Jam and Spoon. And here uh, you also hear this acoustic guitar just looping on the background with this ethereal, dreamy, wavy pads, which makes like a real nice trip somewhere in the sky. And next song is also very dreamy. It's actually probably one of my favorites ambient, dream trance, trippy songs ever made. It's actually one of those songs that I wish I had made myself or I wish I could make myself. It's called La Speranza by Sven Fath, the legendary Sven, Swedish Sven Fath, or Fath. I don't know exactly how to pronounce it. But yeah, this is this is the kind of song that really makes my brain fly somewhere far away, somewhere to a tropical island or to another planet. So if I put it on somewhere, then my brain's literally going somewhere to the other world and I don't need any other sub- substances or anything else to feel this way. So uh, I just gonna play it. This is uh, La Esperanza by Sven <laughs> Delfines en el fondo del océano volamos por el universo incentivados por la esperanza.
Esperanza by Sven Feth. So, yeah, kids nowadays uh, will never know the feeling of when you listen to a certain album or a cassette so often that it's imprinted in your brain. And as soon as one song ends, uh, your body and your brain just automatically knows and feels what song is going to be next, including which chords, uh, how many seconds break, etc., etc. So um, some of the songs on this album uh, left this kind of imprint. And sometimes I hear uh, a song uh, on a radio, on a TV, and when it's ended, it feels like the next song from the tracklist from the Dream Dance album is going <laughs> to be next. But then it's not. So maybe I sound a bit like a boomer talking about cassette tapes <laughs> from like way back. But what can I say? Uh, I mean, um, we were a bit poor as well. So I didn't really have the money for uh, even for my own cassette tapes, not even for the CDs. So all the cassette tapes that I listened were actually uh, from my uncle. And he was so kind to leave me some of his uh, trends and electronic Uh, music tapes, so uh, that's how I discovered the Dream Trance. And uh, also the fun part about the cassette tapes and the CDs. With, with CDs, you kind of always know uh, what track is playing or at least uh, which number it is. So because And then you could look up its name on the album. But with a cassette tape, it was a bit difficult. So you, if you don't know the song, if you hear it for the first time, so you really had to count and keep up with all the tracks that have been played before or guess by the lyrics so that then you can find out which the title that's on the box belongs to which songs. So that's like a funny thing. So uh, let's go to the next song. It's uh, called Infinity by Taucher. And maybe you heard it before um, not so long ago because there was like Uh, some kind of very cheesy EDM remix made of it. Of course, it sounded horrible because the original is much better and it consists this classic saxophone sound and it's also 150 BPM. So that's a nice combo. So let's let's listen to uh, Taucher with Infinity.
Well, this was Atlantis by Imperio. And Imperio is uh, actually Norbert Reichardt, and he's the producer and the mastermind of Imperio. And he is a fan of old Roman movies, and he loves their sound. So that was the original idea from which uh, this name arose. And first album was called Veni Vici Vici from 1995. And uh, it was quite a success. But unfortunately, he didn't manage to repeat it. (coughs) Oh, man. I get so emotional from this music that I had to cough. (laughs) So uh, anyway, (coughs) next song, Control X, Breath of Sex. It's kind of ironic that I had to cough and I lost my breath at this track, which is called Breath of Sex. So because it's like saxophone in it. And uh, so that was song Breath of Sex by Control X. And uh, it's this, this guy, I didn't really know who this guy is. It's a bit like unknown, a mystery. But I discovered also thanks to DJ Dado, this track was... Um, also on one of the con- compilation tapes uh, or one of his mixtapes. So yeah, if we're speaking of uh, epic saxophones, 
in electronic music, then this track is definitely the one. And of course, now we're going to Robert Miles again, or the real Robert Miles, because before I played a track by uh, Ronald Snipes, which might be either a copycat or an alter ego by Robert Niles, so uh, I don't know. But next track is from the real Robert, and actual his actual name is Roberto Consina, I think. He's a Swiss-born Italian producer, composer, and musician, and uh, for, unfortunately he passed away in 2017 uh, after a battle uh, with cancer. But his tracks, uh, tracks like Children, and one-on-one -on -one are definitely uh, legendary. And I would like to play uh, another track by him, which is called Fable. And I think it's also a cover of, by... Um, I, I, I forgot who made the original. It could be the Georgia Morador, but I might be mistaken. I don't know. But here it is, uh, Robert Miles with a Fable.
that was Fable by Robert Miles. And now up next is JD, aka Edgar Robin Albers, uh, famous Dutch DJ. Well, actually, he was uh, a member of the Dutch national baseball team first and triple Dutch wrestling champion. And then he also became a producer and DJ. And of course, he made this huge hit with Plastic Dreams. And so, which is also on the same cassette tape that I was listened to. So JD Plastic Dreams, Faithless Insomnia, and a couple of more epic legendary electronic tracks. So I guess no introduction needed. Although it's I do I do kind of like find it interesting because I find Plastic Dreams not necessarily very dream trancy. Uh, there is not that much lyrical melancholic music uh, or like tunes going on. There's like no piano or guitar. But there is like some organ samples, so I guess they are kind of funky. But hey, it's still like a great track. So here's JD with uh, Plastic Dreams. Come on, come on. 
that was Age of Love by uh, the Age of Love, of course. And it was a remix by Gem and Spoon. It's actually the uh, Watch Out for Stella edit. So it was not the original one. And Age of Love is actually uh, was like a project by two guys, uh, Bruno Sancione and Giuseppe Cercia. I hope I pronounced it right. But the interesting uh, thing that uh, Bruno Sancioni is also a part of BBE, uh, also a, a trans uh, pr- formation, who made the track Seven uh, Days and One Week. This also like was a, a, a hit in the charts in the 90s. And uh, now uh, we're going to listen to Onda del Futuro with a song called Terra 95 which is quite fast paced it's like 154 uh, around 154 bpm and so uh, it's very energetic but somehow it still has that dreamy vibe so uh, dreamy vibe i mean and it's still kind of spacey and uh, maybe that's why it's called terra 95 so this is onda del futuro <laughs>
tutte, fatti tutte, ancora, ancora, non ho tutti fatti, ancora, ancora, sento fatti cosa, sento fatti cosa, sento fatti cosa, sento fatti cosa, Energetic but also spacey track uh, was by Onda del Futuro Terra 95. So remember when I told that sometimes in the dream trance uh, genre. <coughs> huh, here I go again. Uh, so I told that uh, sometimes they used some kind of. Um, spiritual vibes as well like choir or some esoteric or new age uh, vibes so next song is uh, uh, is one of those it's called Adiemas so I hope I pronounced it right and uh, which is actually uh, uh, the original is the a, a series of new age music by uh, Welsh composer Carl Jenkins And uh, so the track called Adiemas, but also the artist is called Adiemas. And uh, the fun part is that the vocal parts are not written in Latin, like the title suggests, but it's actually just like in made up language. So uh, just some of the lyrics do have similarity to Latin, but actually the words were written phonetically by the Jenkins himself to match the orchestral parts with the intention being to have the voices act purely as another instrument. So that's interesting. And uh, someone decided to make a dream trance or just a trance remix of it. And uh, so let's listen to Adiemas with Adiemas and then a better remix.
So this is almost the end of the today's uh, old school Tronica show, and you were listening to Atlantic Ocean with Waterfall. So it's nice that there is also some like happy dream trends, like uplifting, like happy go lucky. And Atlantic Ocean are actually a duo. There are two Dutch DJs and producers. Uh, one of them is Rene van der Heide, and another one, uh, what was his name, Lex van. Kuverden, and together they made this uh, song called Waterfall. I mean, it really sounds like a waterfall, like a happy waterfall. But at last but not least, uh, the next track wasn't on the Dream Dance Volume 1 compilation. Maybe it was on someone uh, on other compilations, but not in the first one. But nevertheless, I wanted to play them as well, because actually it's a remix. It's a remix of the Blade Runner theme. And it's a remix by Be Born. It's a duo, like Italian duo, of course, Marco Marsigli and Massimo Pagani. And I really like the way they made uh, it sounded dreamy. So this is like a dream trance dream dance uh, version of the blade runner soundtrack by be born so i hope you enjoyed and thanks for listening <laughs> 